Hello everyone, this is my 1992 Lexus SE400. I'm very excited to bring you this today. I've been looking for one of these for a couple years now in this condition and I finally found one in pristine condition. So here she is, I absolutely love it. Now what I'm gonna do today is we're gonna go over the car, take a look at it uh, inside and out. Um, I'm gonna tell you a couple things that I love about this car and a couple things that uh, happen to a car of this age. And some of the things that uh, this car runs into mechanical wise uh, that are known for this specific vehicle. Um, but I absolutely love this car. It ran from, it debuted in 91 and it ran all the way until year 2000 when they stopped making it. The next kind of model after this car was the SC430, but I love this one even more than the SC430. So uh, without further ado, let's get started and go over the car. Just going and looking at the front of the car here. Love the headlights on this car. It's got these little fog lights down here at the bottom, but unfortunately the 92 to 94 didn't have operational fog lights. They were actually just turn signals. So 95 was the first year SC400 that they had actual functional fog lights. And this one specifically is the gold package and you can see that by the gold plating on the Lexus symbol uh, on the front here and also in the rear. And these headlights you can see they're not fogged up or yellow or anything. A lot of these cars actually have foggy headlights or they have moisture inside the headlights and uh, you'd have to replace the whole uh, headlight assembly which is kind of a pain. So I'm glad this one doesn't have that. Now a lot of the SC400s too, they have different factory wheels. However, uh, this one came with a, a more, I guess, sporty wheel um, and it only came on few of the SC400s. So it's nice that this one actually came with those sportier type wheels. And just looking down the line here of this car, I absolutely love the body styling. Just kind of, uh, it's not, it's not like a crazy design, like too many lines or anything like that. It's just kind of, just very subtle and it, and it makes this car uh, absolutely look beautiful. At least, uh, I, I think it's one of the most beautiful cars out there today. And just taking a look from the back here. And again, you can see the gold plating. It's got dual exhaust. I love this car. I'll go around. And you can see it's got the trunk lid spoiler. One of the quirks on this car, uh, this one has, you can see here, it's got the uh, uh, rear brake light on the spoiler as well. Uh, the rear brake lights on these cars, for some reason, uh, on the spoiler specifically, they tend not to work. So this one doesn't actually work. That's one of the things that uh, doesn't work on this car. All right. And you can see how clean that paint is. Just looking down the line of it here. You know, this car was actually designed here in California and uh, one of the ways uh, that they actually designed this car uh, was they actually took a balloon and stretched it out uh, and that's how they actually came up with the design. Kind of an interesting thing of, you know, how to design a car by stretching out a balloon. But you can see the exterior is absolutely just beautiful on this. It's got a long hood on it and kind of a short trunk on the back. And I just love that, the long front hood and just this overall body style to this car. So let's go ahead and take a look on the inside now. And the first thing you notice when you open the door on this car is just how heavy it is. It's extremely heavy. And actually when you look over here at the hinges on the door, I mean, dang, look at that. That is some major strength in the hinges on these doors. They don't really make cars obviously like that anymore today. I mean, just listen to the sound of closing the door on this car. You can just tell how sturdy it is. It is absolutely just a sturdy car. It's got that sound of being very solid. Also, you'll notice taking a look inside just how clean the car is in terms of the, the wear on the seats. There's literally no wear. Now this front seat here, it was reupholstered, but uh, 
that doesn't matter to me as long as it's looking good and and not ripped up most of these seats tear over time and have a lot of wear so that's already been taken care of also you can see here you got lumbar support only for the driver's side it wasn't until 1995 that they came up with um, the lumbar support for the passenger side and then obviously you got your controls here uh, for the back and for controlling the seat front um, front and back as well and also you do have two settings for the seat there um, and again no, it wasn't until 95 that they came out with uh, the settings also the seat settings for the passenger side you got an automatic window up on the driver's side got the door locks controls for the mirrors there looking under here under the, the steering column you have your gas release also you have the trunk release you got the hood release right there and then you have that little button right there it says remote that's just for the locking mechanism of the car um, and that will allow you to lock it or not with the key um, so that's kind of a cool you can turn that on or off then you also have an air vent down here obviously this is for your feet and you got the AC blowing and in this car it works beautiful it's also another nice feature you have the steering wheel tilt uh, it goes up and down it's um, telescoping and tilting very nice really enjoy that feature about this car so let's pop in here love the old school Lexus steering wheels and you can see this one's got on here it's actually got uh, for a telephone so you can make calls so what's actually really cool about this car and not all of them came with it is that this one has something pretty special for the year so when you open the console there you actually have a Lexus telephone from 1992 and this thing actually still works so that's pretty cool you just gotta get it going but uh, it does does actually work and you can see over here that little microphone that's for the talking when you're making calls with that phone which is pretty cool and uh, this one one of the things that happens with this specific vehicle is that the um, is is that the radios kind of stop working and so uh, the previous owner actually put in a Kenwood uh, faceplate and um, so it actually the, the the sound system everything works great on this car um, and you have your basic controls for the heating air conditioning up there at the top um, this little slot right here actually uh, they used to have a cup holder um, that would be sitting in there uh, however those things were flimsy there was just really you know it just wasn't really reliable and they'd break easy so that's probably what happened with that one and here's the other cup holder which really sucks because there's really no place to put any cups and you can see you can't really put much of anything other than maybe a small drink in there uh, which is what one annoying feature about this car that I kind of you know you don't really have anywhere to put any drinks so that kind of sucks then you also have your power mode uh, that just kind of gives you a little more power when you're going up hills things like that still have a little ashtray here with a functional uh, I don't use it but it's a, uh, a little lighter there and that is actually functional I checked it kind of cool but that actually still works and then for your glove compartment up here you got this little button and when you press that that just pops this open and you can see got a little bit of space not too much it looks like they tried to put some indents there or something for maybe sticking some cups or you know a drink or something but I don't know how sturdy or stable that would, would really be so 92 was the only year of the SC 400 uh, and let me show you you can see here on the steering wheel obviously you have your your airbag for the the driver but 92 was the only year SC 400 that didn't have an airbag for the driver's side so you literally only have driver's side airbag and it will say SRS airbag right there for 93 and up you'll see that in that in those vehicles and you can see just how clean the seats are no cracks no rips nothing very very well maintained and this one does obviously come with a working and functional 
sunroof moonroof and that goes up folds back really cool that that still works perfectly okay again open this side of the door so you got some car compartment space down there for some papers or anything like that and there again are those very heavy and durable door hinges very very cool feature on this car so as you can see i told you that there's no lumbar support on the side but you still have power seats one really cool feature that i also like about this car is only on the passenger side when you pull this lever here and you'll see you pull the lever and the seat automatically goes forward so people can get in and out easier um, and unfortunately they don't have that on the driver's side uh, just the passenger side but you can see as well that you have these little controls you can move them back and forth um, on both sides here for the seat belts so that's kind of a cool feature and then you have a little spot to put stuff here and as well as on the other side then right down here another little ashtray i guess if people were smoking in the car so not too much room back here and as you can see there just really isn't any room um, it's kind of a, a cramped fit when you got uh, four adults in the car uh, it makes it a little harder to uh to kind of get around if you're taking people around things like that but it's not really oriented for for carrying a bunch of passengers it's more just driver and passenger seating uh most comfortable so that's one of the other cool little features is, is just this chair i love how it even when you put it back it will go back into place so that's kind of cool i just absolutely love that feature so now that we've looked at the outside and the inside i talked about a couple things uh, we're going to go ahead and start it up, um, and I'm going to go and show you the engine, uh, and we'll give it a drive. Okay. So just looking under here, you can see it's fairly clean. I haven't even uh, touched it up or anything yet. I just put this new 27F size battery, uh, which is the actual OEM from the factory battery that's supposed to go with this car. I know they're harder to come by, uh, but I just purchased that. Um, so some of the things that do happen with this car, obviously over time, uh, the radiator will go bad. Um, that's just a normal fix. Um, and then uh, a lot of times the mass airflow sensors right there uh, would have to do with the air intake. Um, those will tend to go bad sometimes. Um, and uh, so those are one of the issues that the car does have. Also another issue is that uh, the EGR valve and uh, the throttle body on this car tend to either get dirty or something and so what happens is that uh, you'll have issues starting the car which is actually quite annoying sometimes it will shut off and uh, i've owned a couple of these ones so i know exactly uh, how that goes also uh, you'll get a lot of main seal leaks around the edges of the engine here um, and that will happen uh, but that just happens with normal wear and tear obviously over time uh, You always got to check the engine fan fluid your coolant uh, checking your brake fluid um, Just all those main things you want to make sure that this car uh, is actually up to par with all that stuff uh, Because that will you know affect the running of the vehicle um, Also, what's a nice feature that I do love about this car is that uh, is that actually uh, it has not only an engine oil dipstick but you got the transmission oil dipstick and you don't see that in cars anymore now you have to take it to a mechanic uh for them to pull a, a plug and then they can they have to dump out the oil to check it that way uh so they don't actually usually have engine oil or excuse me uh transmission oil dipsticks anymore and i love that feature about this car that you could just go in there and easily check it on your own to see where the oils uh the level's at See how dirty or clean it is and then you can kind of change it it's a lot easier on this car than a lot of newer ones so there's also another cool feature is that this car is so smooth and idles so well uh, that they've done uh, tests where they stick a, a a glass of water up here up on the top of the uh, engine 
they'll rev it up to 6,000 RPMs and the water won't even move. It just stays completely stable. And that just goes to show uh, a lot of the quality and how well built this motor was and uh, just goes with the overall design of the vehicle. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and uh, give it a drive and I'll, I'll give you my thoughts on it. All right, so one of the features I absolutely love about this car and just amazed that it still works is that when you put the key into the ignition, the steering wheel tilts down and comes straight out at you. I just absolutely love that feature. It's just so cool. It's one of my favorite things about the car. Um, so I'm going to give it a drive right now and uh, just go over a couple things that uh, tend to be issues uh, with this vehicle in terms of driving, um, mechanical things that need to be replaced and all that stuff. I haven't really done everything to this car just yet, so there's still a couple things here and there that uh, need to be taken care of. So let's get out on the road. So the feel of the steering wheel in this car, it's actually kind of a skinny steering wheel. It's not a, it's it's kind of like big and round and you know, a lot of times steering wheels today, they don't have the, the, just the same feel as this does. It just feels a lot different. I've driven a lot of cars and I just love the, the skinnier kind of uh, steering wheel um, and it's kind of wider it seems to me. So I really enjoy that feature about it. And. You know, surprisingly, I, you know, I've been driving this car for maybe about a month now, and um, it just never, it, I, I just can't get over the fact of just how smooth this car is at 50 miles an hour. I mean, it belongs at 50 miles an hour on the highway. And uh, this car was made to be comfort and sporty. Um, so that's exactly what it is. It's comfortable and it's very sporty. Now I do get a little rattle at the steering wheel, because one of the issues with this car is that uh, the rack and pinion steering tends to go out on the SC300s, SC400s, and that's one of the issues these cars do have. Um, and I, I mean, it's it's not that big of a deal, but once you get it fixed, you don't have to worry about it. So um, just another thing, I mean, this car's got instant power. You know, you hit the gas and, and you get going right away. And I just absolutely love the exhaust sound on this car. I mean, it's just, it's always caught my, my attention, just the exhaust sound specifically on this car. And I just, I love it. It's really subtle and quiet, uh, but when you get on it, you can definitely hear it. And it's uh, one of those, those things about the car that, you know, you just, you just love. So one of the other issues that this car does tend to have is that uh, the bushings will go out uh, and um, one of the, is, is the control arms. The control arms will tend to go out um, and those would kind of hold your wheel and everything together. Um, and so that's an issue. Um, they're kind of expensive to repair um, unless you do it on your own, but still it's kind of a big job and uh, you know, it's just, it, it's time consuming and it's a lot of work. So. Uh, there's a couple things, you know, in terms of uh, reliability wise that these cars do have, but you got to keep in mind it's a 26 year old car. So, you know, you can't expect perfect. You just got to make it perfect to your own views. So, but other than the couple little things that the car has, I mean, this car has 110,000 miles for a 92, which is like nothing. And, uh, and so I literally bought it from the second owner who had every single maintenance record from day one on this vehicle, including uh, the receipt from the guy who originally purchased it. Um, and I ran a car fax, it was all clean. It's just this car inside and out, other than the few little mechanical things that I gotta work on. I mean, the power steering is another one. Uh, those will tend to go on these cars. It's one of the things that these cars do have. Uh, issues with but it's not a big deal um, it's a pretty pretty fairly cheap fixed um, but you know that goes with the rack and uh, pinion steering so usually when the power steering starts to go you want to check the rack and pinion uh, because that will be one of the issues again that these cars do have so but I'm right now I'm cruising at 50 miles an hour and this thing just drives beautiful it's just it's so smooth you have you, you feel like you're floating on a cloud you don't feel the road as as much uh, 
as compared to some other sportier cars and things like that, but I mean, you get the ride of a very smooth, comfortable seating car, but you also have the power there and the looks of power when you need it. Okay, so overall, this car just drives amazing. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say about it unless you actually drive one because these cars are just so solid. I mean, this car weighs like 4,400 pounds for a little two-door coupe. Um, the engine's got 250 horsepower, smooth horsepower, uh, very linear. It's a very, very comfortable ride and, and just plenty of power when you need it. Um, but uh, we talked about some of the issues the car has. Um, and uh, another one, one of the things is that the, uh, the gauges, so the gauges on the dash, the lights will tend to go out, they'll tend to burn out, that sort of thing. That can be an expensive repair. You gotta pull the whole dash out even to get to that stuff and replace the bulbs. Um, but I mean, there's just basic things, especially for a 26 year old car. Like I said, you can't expect perfect, but you gotta make it perfect the way that you see perfect being. And um, it took me years to find this car uh, in this condition. And I'm just so thankful that I got the right car at the right price. And uh, I'm totally looking forward to uh, making this car perfect and uh, eventually probably um, doing some upgrades on the car. So I just wanna thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, do so below. And uh, I'll provide more information on whatever you'd like to see with this car or anything like that, all right? I appreciate it so much, thank you.